This is Jordan Town with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Okay, Lil Wayne releases the original track listing. It was only 10 songs. It had the, um, the, does, the I don't even know if they had the song with Raekwon on the actual one. Let me see. But I know a lot of these songs were the same and they added to it. Yeah, you, Lil Wayne and Raekwon song. Yeah, I don't think that came out on that thing. Carter 5, though, turned into like 20 songs. It was way better. And I'm glad they added to it. They added a lot to it. So it's a lot better. Mac Main by Lil Wayne and McLaren 720 for his birthday. Shout out to him for keeping up tradition. They're getting a lot of money over there. I didn't know Mac Main. Mac Main is the president over there. And Lil Wayne takes care of his people, obviously. If Mac Main has the kind of money to buy a McLaren for his homie, <laughs> salute to what they're doing over there. They're doing something right okay <laughs> um then we got next oh yeah and then little baby was interrogation for 45 minutes on that miami thing uh i guess he's being brought to court over that we'll get more into i gotta watch it you know i didn't really watch the whole thing and how he was acting but like geez is anything private talking about that ti conversations with tory lance now he talks about women being protected in this country right especially black women. I, I agree with him. Well, when, just 60, 70 years ago, uh, women and, and minorities weren't treated as equal, okay? Uh, there was a lot of things that, that they could do, and like, things are evolving, thankfully, over time, okay? Uh, he talks about a private conversation he had with Tori, cause, and then T.I. talking about protecting women. Okay, dude, your first like 10 to 15 years on your albums, you were really disrespectful to women, so you gotta need to, to kind of need to repent. I hate it when people do certain things and then preach another thing. Just be, you know, like address that. You gotta address that every time you speak about it too. Um, so he sees, he says, I feel like black women are the most attacked, least protected, least de defended, most vulnerable, and exposed species on earth. Okay. Then he says, uh, I don't know what happened. I just know what she says happened but i don't know why it happened but i know if it did happen that's everybody's responsibility to make sure that this young lady feels supported and that she knows that the community and the culture is behind her i think that's important i think it's important too i just wish she would be consistent if she's plant if she's the victim if she's the victim like she says she is she does things that imply she's not a victim you know like I believe something happened with Tory Lanez in that situation that caused her to get harmed. But the way it happened, I think it was like really messy and she's telling her version of the story and then there's probably her girlfriend's side of the story, the bodyguard and Tory Lanez. And somewhere in the middle, we'll get to the right story where Tory obviously is probably still very, very, very wrong. I mean, he's apologized for it. He's wrong, okay? But uh, I don't think it's exactly what she said, and I don't think it's exactly what he's going to say. It's somewhere in the middle. I think a lot of people try to save face at first, you know. Tori's still not arrested. If that actually happened, wouldn't he be arrested? You know? But anyways, I think that's our obligation and responsibilities. Uh, not even as artists or as rappers, exclusives in this business, but as men, as black men. We can't allow anyone, including myself, to be here letting off uh, shots at women in bikinis. Now I know I have a problem with that. And then he says, listen, I don't know, man, but I spoke to him and he said it didn't happen like that. He sa I said, well, you need to say something. Uh, how did it happen? And he said he couldn't say anything about what actually happened. I told him under, I understood that. I said, man, you can't expect anybody to ignore the facts that you are being presented. Uh, if you don't have any other conclusive facts that can overturn these, then I don't know. You got to say something if you do. Because if you don't say anything, you can't expect anybody else to say anything. But what she said. And he said, I ain't about to just shut up when you got facts out here that say it's a woman being popped in the hands of another black man within the culture. We've got to speak out about that. We're wrong if we don't. 
All right. Well, he's sharing private conversations out here. That's a little spooky. <laughs> but Tori is just letting... He's just crazy, man. And I don't know why he's letting all that happen the way it is. But anyways, you know, like if he says that didn't happen, then say something. T.I.'s right about that. Um, then we got Khaled uh, approaching Jay-Z. Need that stimulus, bro. The Drake only work for a little bit. You got two stimulus packages from Drake. And he's going, I don't know why he's going to Jay-Z again. Jay-Z failed you on the last two stimulus packages. DJ Khaled uh, featuring Jay-Z and Beyonce. And Future. Top off. Flopped. That was just two or three years ago. Flizzot. It wasn't like I got the keys. That one was, you know, that was on, on point. DJ Khaled top off was, and then DJ Khaled shining featuring Beyonce and Jay-Z. Trash. Didn't, didn't go anywhere. And I love Beyonce and I love Jay-Z, but I don't think they're going to give their best material to Khaled. I, I wouldn't if I was Beyonce. I'm saving that for the Lion King soundtrack, buddy. All right. <laughs> Jay-Z, he's like, man, I'll give you something, man. My best bars are going for this other album I'm working on. You know, yeah. I don't think Drake's giving his best to Khaled. I wouldn't either, you know? But Khaled is just, oh, you know, it's like... Ugh, she's just cringy sometimes, man. And he still owes me $2,500. <laughs> this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a great day. Stay positive out there. Um, there's not a lot of news going on, but we're going to still keep reporting it. I got a couple topics you know, I'll resort to some topics and we'll get through that. I appreciate you guys so much. Again, I really, really appreciate you guys. And please smash that like button, subscribe, share with a friend. And I just appreciate you guys. And I'll check you on the next one. I hope you guys are just doing amazing. Peace.